Um, SM66 is the next transaction. SM50 gives you all the work processes in that instance, similar to SM04 and AL08. The same kind of relationship is between SM50 and SM66. SM66 is system-wide, but only shows active work processes. Not all the work processes, only the ones which are active doing something. Right, so if I go to SM66, and for me, this is the EKG of your system, right? If, if I go into a client site, some issues happening, the very first thing I'll run is SM66. Right? If there's a real-time issue going on, right? Login SM66. Very similar to PS minus EF task manager, right? If shit is happening, you need to know what is running right now. So that's what SM66 is. Um, you can put things in debug mode. Obviously, you need to be a or to you know benefit from it, right? This is system wide. Yes. SM50 is Yeah. But it shows all the work processes, not just the active. Here you only see active work processes if it is processing something. That's why, you know, and if typically you will see five or six, right? On a Fortune 500 system, uh, company's production system, you might have two or three screen pulls. The max I've seen is around two screen pulls, right? That means that at any given time, you have to page down through this list. All right. Um, SM37, we're going to study in detail. This is background job overview, right? What background jobs have run in the system or are running in the system? So if I do SM37, I can look at background jobs. If I say, show me all background jobs run by anyone which canceled today. That means they terminated, right? So canceled, anyone running? any job, execute, right? So I've got these three types of jobs and one of them ran multiple times which canceled, right? Why is it canceling? What can we do to fix it? Obviously, you know, one has to now do the research, right? But this is batch scheduling, right? It's telling us that, you know, SM37 at the root of it tells all the background workload which got processed on the system, right? and I am just searching based upon certain criteria. So for a batch scheduler, this is very important, right? Even for a basis admin, it is very important to know what was running, when was it running. Now a lot of people, you ask them a question, can you figure out all the jobs which were running in the system between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m.? Very common question, right? which were running in the system between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. actively. Right? They won't be able to find out because there's no way to find that out from the screen. You can give the start condition. That means when did the job start? Right? But you cannot say that, you know, was the job actively running between that time frame. The only way you can do it is by going to extended job selection. And in extended job selection, um, there is this tab called active. And you can select job active in time interval. Or job no longer active in time interval. I have never used this third one. I've never even taken the time to read the usage information because just by looking at this, I couldn't figure out was the difference between one and third. <laughs> but a lot of times it got gets lost in translation between German to English, right? But but usage tip is available there, right?
but very important, right? Is because that's your most because as a basis admin, you will say, oh, the system had this issue between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning. What was running in the system between that time frame? And so I don't know how to figure out because SM37 doesn't give it to you. But no, it does if you go to extended job selection and the active tab. All this functionality comes after you upgrade the kernel, or, or I mean, it's a previous version. All this functionality? Yeah, like extended. I mean, you said I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just that it's difference, right? Okay. Difference between basis admin and basis admin and basis admin. Okay. <laughs> You know, because as I always, in the intro class, I told you, a good system admin, right? As they say, right? There's $9 where to hit the hammer, right? $1 to hit the hammer. At the end of the day, for a system administrator, you get paid for your troubleshooting skills, right? You don't get paid to run an installation, run this report, right? Is that how good are you when it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and you get a call and the trucks are piling up in the loading dock, you know, the shipping functionality, receiving, everything is down at the plant because the system is down. Your hands are sweating, your feet are sweating. What do you do to bring the system up? And if you typically, you know, and I've been at a number of those calls over the last 10 years, right, doing this stuff. If you get onto those calls, it's typically your most senior basis admin driving the conference call. Right? You will have DBAs there, you will have network people there, you will have OS people there, you will have functional people there. But if there's one glue, right, who is making sure that, you know, he can talk to the DBA equally well, he can talk to the functional people equally well, he can talk to the network admin equally well, OS admin, and bring everything together to resolve, is the senior basis guy. And that's where the value is, right? I have. I have not seen a basis person choose another carrier. Once you're a basis guy, there's just no other, nothing else will attract you as much, right? You will, there's no other way, you know, you will become an architect, maybe a basis architect, right? You will kind of be doing that kind of stuff behind you. You know, because you've been doing administration too much, now you would just design solutions. But there's no, you know, nothing else will attract you as much, right? Because Everything you ever want to do in IT, from performance tuning to architecting, cloud computing, virtualization, you know, storage, map, everything is in there. All right, it's 4.30, we'll call it a day, right? We've been, we didn't take break in the second half either, right? So we've just been going full steam ahead. We'll come back, there are a few more transactions, there are important ones and I don't want to sidetrack and do them at the last half an hour here. Um, what I would want to do is, um, from a homework perspective, what I want to have happen is the following.